Time now for sports on SSP TV News. Dave Day on a Thursday. We moved some things around this week to bring in the standard speaker sports editor because it was an interesting week, Dave. You had Hazleton area. They had to play in the District 2 um, 6A Boys Basketball Championship game. They captured that. Dave wrote an interesting um, column about the fact that they don't get into the state playoffs now as District 2 champions. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's start, Dave, though, with wrestling. State Wrestling Championship starting today. Actually, Carson Kinney down there from Hazleton area along with Jimmy Hoffman. A few of our other of our lo local wrestlers, too, from downtown. South in the Schuylkill League and Dave Hoffman going back second place last year uh, lost in region the regional championship went to overtime in that match I read the article in the standard speaker I'm his coach Keith Maurer saying doesn't feel like Jimmy really wrestled his match there and that hey I'll put it behind him Jimmy's been here before but big opportunity for him he has to be excited heading down there and and he could pull it off and like his coach said he could beat any of the guys in the bracket on any given day but you have to see what happens yeah the bracket down there is obviously very very tough uh, you get into the state championships uh, you're talking about the best Pennsylvania wrestling notoriously for the through the through the years has always had among the best wrestlers. Uh, Jimmy found that out last year. He was able to battle his way through the bracket and get all the way to the final. Uh, came up just short last year. I know it's been his motivating factor throughout the whole season. Uh, he took it uh, all the way to a district championship, a, a near regional championship, uh, losing in overtime. I don't think that's going to sit too well with Jimmy, and uh, I, I think uh, he's going to put his best foot forward going into the state uh, tournament. So follow wrestling championships all weekend long in the Hazleton Standard Speakers. They continue through Saturday at the Giants Center. So let's get to basketball now. Dave, I was there with you for the District 2 slash 4 6A sub-regional championship. Great game between Hazleton area and Williamsport. Williamsport ultimately winning. They'll go to the state tournament. Hazleton area then on Tuesday had to play Delaware Valley for the District 2 championship. And I was impressed. The Cougars, you know, you have that disappointment not going to the state title. Um, Mike Joseph saying, listen, something's just not in our control. Their head coach and they come out they win that game against Delaware Valley you were at that game there were some great quotes too after from Michael Casadas about showing pride uh, by the end of the game the Cougars were uh, realizing what they had accomplished the 21 win season uh, a district two championship one Valley Conference championship and uh, plenty of momentum for next season and Dave, yeah, I think it's important, number one, to recognize the Hazleton area Cougars because they did have such a phenomenal season, state-ranked team. Um, they were so much fun to watch. But the second part of the story is what your column covered on Monday. And if you didn't read it, please go back, check it out in the standard speaker about the fact that you get one team in from the District 2, 4, sub-regional. So in a situation like this, Williamsport goes out of District 4. Hazleton, the District 2 champ, is left out. And these are two of the top teams in the state. And your column made a lot of really interesting cases because now in the Philadelphia area, you were mentioning how 10 teams get in. So is this Something you might you think this will make enough noise? Maybe we'll see some changes. It would have to happen uh, not after next season. Well, after next season because it, uh, usually they work in two-year cycles. So unfortunately for the uh, for the Cougars, they'll have they might have to wait or the Cougars or Scrant or Delaware Valley for that matter. Uh, if Williamsport beats that team in the district final or the sub-regional final, as we should say, um, you know that team's going to go to the, the, the state tournament. Uh, unfortunate because some District Two teams have done very well in the state tournament. Hazelton area has been a state finalist in years past. They've gotten deep into the playoffs, and um, it's unfortunate, but that, that's what it is. And my concern would be if uh, both Hazelton area or Scranton would be 22 and 0 or 23 and 0, and Williamsport would also be 23 and 0 going into that uh, sub-regional final. Well, what happens to that other team that loses that game? A team could be 23 and 1, not making the state playoffs because uh, the PIAA allows you know 10 teams from District 1 half of the entries from District 6, or I'm sorry, District 3 and from District 11. So when uh, uh, Hazleton area team could be have 22 wins, uh, not make it to the state tournament, I think that's when you might see a little bit of a more of an outcry from the, from the state. Uh, uh, I, you know, uh, when I wrote my column, it was more or less, you know, people were going to agree with in the Hazleton area because they know it was a, a fantastic season here. Uh, but I, I was kind of hoping that people around the state would see, too, that we do play good basketball in northeastern Pennsylvania, not only in Hazleton, but uh, I, I pointed out that Delaware Valley did make that run in 2012, winning a couple state playoff games. Scranton was state ranked that same season. So that's two of your four teams in, in the, in the sub-region that have uh, made it to the state playoffs. Hazleton area in, in 2010 won a playing game at uh, Council Rock uh, North. They won that game and, and then went on to play Reading, which was one of the top teams in the state that season in Hershey that game. And the Cougars uh, represented themselves very well. They lost, but they represented themselves very well. So District 2 teams, given the chance, will, will, will play well in the state tournament. Uh, it's unfortunate they don't get that chance to do that. Uh, but uh, it, um, a famous saying, a lot of people say it now, is, is it is what it is, and uh, you, you got to deal with it. And uh, 
That's why it's important to be on your A game. It's a lot of pressure for kids, but uh, when the time comes, you have to be there prepared to play. And uh, unfortunately, in this day and age, there's a winner and there's a loser. And Dave, it's interesting. It reminded me of the college football playoff. And it's hard to put a system in place that makes everyone happy in it. But with that said, you know, you look at the Cougars' resume even from this year, and you think, how, how are they not in? And I like how you did it in your article. You said you spoke with both Williamsport and Hazel Tenaria's head coach before the game, so it didn't just seem like if they lost, they were saying, oh, this system, you know, and we'll, it doesn't work. And Williamsport's coach had some very, very strong words, I thought. Um, speaking out against the system both before and after the game. Well, check out Dave's column if you didn't see it, and make sure you're checking out the standard speaker again all weekend long as they will update you from the PIAA State Wrestling Championships.